you had a party. There's people, yep. And you did have a fire going in the fire pit. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, it's not an answer. Yes, that would be yes, a yes. Honor. That would be a yes. And at some point, the fire got larger. At some yes. point, the fire got larger. And that was later on in the evening. Yes. Do you know the guest who poured whatever inflammatory substance was on the property? I do not. How many guests did you have? Four. What time did they come? It was after bar close, so they were, or it was between 12 and 1 o'clock. They came at 12 or 1 o'clock after the bars closed? Yeah. So everybody had been out drinking before they got to your house? Somewhat, yes. Good. Can I see an estimate to fix the fence? Come on, there's another. Here was another of the material. I was going to buy the material. These are two different guys. This is a prefabricated fence. They yes. come in pieces. Okay. Now, I'm going to hear your counterclaim, sir. Um, can I address any more about the fence, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. Okay. That mild bowl that's been there, I don't believe it was caused from that. There's a bench on the other side of that where his wife climbs up on top of, yells all kinds of stuff over it. It's a, they use it for a backrest, the fence. That little bowl was not created from a fire, in my opinion. Um, I did ask the fire chief, but he said, whatever. I just, <laughs> you know, um, but I mean, we've, there's been witnesses, even Justin has seen her up on top of the, stand on the bench, shaking it back and forth. Okay, guys, you have to be more careful mm -hmm. when you have people who are a little bit drunk who are coming back to your house and they're drinking more and you're playing around with fire. You have to be more careful. Tragedies can happen. And I assume that these people who came to your house left by car because the police didn't see them when they came back mm -hmm. the second time. So they were driving and drinking at the same time, which really isn't very smart. There's sober people that were there. It was just... There were only four people there, you said, and you don't know which one threw the accelerant into the fire. No, I, I, I don't, because to be honest, I didn't, there was no this big inferno that he's talking about. I don't... I don't necessarily think there's an inferno. I think that if somebody throws alcohol on a fire, it can... What I'm saying is nobody... Finishes their drink and throws alcohol on a fire, you can get a bit of a plume. What I'm saying is that, that there was not that. Okay. So that's... Fine, that's what I'm here for. So let's okay. get to your counterclaim. Okay. Okay. Now, you live on a lake. Correct. And I'd like you to go over, Mr. Tesmar, and show me where the property line is. Um, there is no property line. This is deeded access out here. Eugene has... Taken... What do you mean there's no property line? Well, everybody is entitled to the same amount of access to that. Don't tell me. I don't know whether that's true. I asked you okay. about property line. Okay. Where is your house line and where is his house line? Oh, out on the lake, this is what he's claiming is his. That's what he's claiming that this, his end's right here. But yet he took his dock and moved it over all the way to here. So I couldn't put a boat on this side. There's no way that I could use the right side of my dock. Well, then what you have to do, Mr. Tesmar, is call the town where you live and the town will make a determination as to whether or not he has to move the dock. I've called everybody. Nobody well, takes care of it. I'm not going to take care of it. <laughs>